It is the 6th of the 4th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net. Fukushima's radioactivity found in California kelp. Kelp off Southern California was contaminated, contaminated with short-lived radioisotopes a month after Japan's Fukushima accident, a sign that the spilled radiation reached the state's coastline according to a new scientific study. Now this is definitely a watered-down study. Um, they didn't test for all the different isotopes. And uh, the insanity continues. China builds scores of dams in earthquake hazard zones. More than 130 large dams built under construction or proposed in western China's seismic hazard zones could trigger disastrous environmental consequences such as earthquakes and giant waves finds a news report from Canadian watchdog group Probe International. Uh, yeah, they are definitely, if it's, if they can export, extort it, they are. Dead catfish at Boone River Mouth. Mysterious, mystery surrounds the appearance of more than a hundred dead catfish washed up at B-O-Y-N-E, River Mouth. Residents have been finding fish since Monday along the high tide line on the Boyne Island. Dead catfish were strewn everywhere, meters along the tide line from the morning before. And that is going into the Gulf of Mexico and the odd things that are going on there. Of course, they tested it. It's not back yet. Uh, deadly bacteria lurk in deep water horizon tarballs. Nearly two years after the Deepwater Horizon disaster gushed millions of barrels of oil into the Gulf of Mexico, tar balls from the spill still turn up in Alabama shores after storms. Now one researcher is recommending that people steer clear of these tar balls after studies find them chock full of potentially deadly bacteria. Um, could this be Cynthia back to haunt us? And that's about all new they've got going on tonight. Uh, the only thing I really wanted to cover on the extinction protocol is London suffering through worst drought since 1884. The city of London has an un underserved reputation as a rainy city with things to do. Uh, when the UK capital is as wet, a popular topic of conversation among tourists. But this year could see an an image shattered in dramatic fashion with much of the southeast England gripped in a serious drought currently after affecting about 20 million people. And you remember um, southern England's having the, the freak warm weather and why Scotland was snowing. <clears throat> and we've got that big uh, natural gas leak off the coast of Scotland as well. And that's about all new I want to cover on there tonight. Uh, over to the RSOE. Um, snowstorm in the state of Bengal in India, um, severe enough to have reports up. Uh, Alberta, Canada also reporting a severe snowstorm. Flash flooding in the state of Tennessee. And nuclear event in South Carolina, the Catawaba nuclear power plant. Apparently they lost off-site power and uh, had to switch over to emergency generators and that kind of thing, so they had to declare an, uh, an unofficial emergency or whatever, the lowest one. Uh, my question is, is why are they building these things if they can't produce their own power? Uh, they got to have off-site power to operate. It's insane. And that's about all new they've got going on tonight, so let's go ahead and go over to the nuclear stuff. i got a lot of it. Ambassador... Murata writes to the UN Secretary General, quote, It's no exaggeration to say that the fate of Japan and the whole world depends on reactor number four. Appeals for independent assessment team. Uh, this is the reactor storage pool that's leaning. And if that thing falls, there are tens of thousands of metric tons of hot MOX fuel, 40 years back load. Uh, waiting to spill into the Pacific Ocean and into the atmosphere and uh, all the madness that ad that entails. They said it catch fire very shortly after uh, it lost water containment. Head research, Boulder, Colorado, a hot spot for Fukushima fallout. None of the other U.S. or Canadian samples came close to Boulder's contamination. 
except Portland, which was even higher. Former Japan Ambassador warns government committee a global catastrophe like we have never before experienced if number four collapses. Common spent fuel pool was 6,375 fuel rods in jeopardy. Would affect us all for centuries. It already is. It already is. Uh, beware spring maximum for radioactive fallout because all these contaminated trees and leaves and the pollen's flying and the birds are singing and love is in the air. NOAA scientists plumes from Asia contribute up to 20% of surface ozone pollution on the U.S. West Coast. Closely related to radioactive fallout, maximum at Los Angeles Basin Southwest. So all this crap blows over the Pacific Oceans, nothing to stop it, and uh, ends up on the west coast of the United States, a.k.a. fallout. Report on CNN. Sounds unbelievable, but it's true. Japan is paying for travelers to visit Fukushima. $63 to share photos on Facebook, and $63 to answer five questions. <sighs> Oscar Mayor, Japan will collapse if reactors are restarted hastily. Um, another news source, new safety standards for restarts written in just two days. The insanity continues. TEPCO gets government warning about radioactive leak from Fukushima Daiichi. At this time, we have reserved the right to not provide an English version due to potential misunderstandings. There's nothing to be misunderstood here. Uh, China Syndrome. China Syndrome. AP. U.S. blasts tsunami ghost ship with cannons. Sinks after multiple attempts. Huge column of smoke seen over Gulf. Was to be salvaged, but inspection showed the ship was not worth saving. Was it contaminated? I knew they rushed over there to put that fire out when it started smoking. And blowing holes in the bottom of it. AFP fires radioactive fluid leak at French nuclear power plant, level 1, INES scale. Um, provisionally, they had a few small fires. Uh, apparently, 10 fire departments, unit trucks were sent out to the situation. Uh, they're saying everything's under control, nothing to worry about. And this is in uh, the Normandy, France area. Uh, study author, California iodine-131, probably double or triple what we reported. I'm sure it's double or triple that, if not more. And nuclear expert, I should make it clear that if EPA safe drinking water doesn't apply to rainwater, EPA safe drinking water does not apply to rainwater. Nothing does. Unquote. Uh, and that's about all I'm going to cover off of there tonight. Uh, there was a couple stories I wanted to cover on the ESSKF blog site. Radioactive Japan, Kyoto City to test burn disaster debris anyway, despite the angry, angry residents shouting down the national minister and local politicians at the JR Koto station the other day. Mayor Koto City uh, has already made up his mind. He has sent an official letter to the Ministry of Environment saying the city is ready to accept disaster debris after conducting the burn test at the city's three incineration plants. What is this mysterious black residue all over Japan when they're burning shit in open incinerators? I wonder. And radioactive Japan food items exceeding new safety limit of 100 becquerels per kilogram. Um, they can't hide it. They can't stop it. Japan is this nuclear tea bag seeping into the Pacific Ocean. Uh, enjoy while you can, everybody. Attach your comments or videos below. Thanks for your support.